So hey, so welcome back to the channel. About a week ago or a week or so ago, I did a review on this uh, Brevity Jumper. This is the large version. And in that review, uh, I thought, you know, it's a pretty good backpack. I've been using it for a couple of weeks at that time. And I gave it a pretty decent review. I thought it was, for what it is, pretty decent backpack. But since then, I've ha I'm gonna have to revise my recommendations on this backpack. I cannot recommend this backpack to anyone, unfortunately, uh, for a, a camera backpack specifically. And there's a couple of reasons why. So if you open the backpack up like this, up here, up here in the top, I carry my RX100 Mark 7. About every day after I use this backpack for any amount of time, I'll find my RX107 down in the bottom compartment. I don't know how it does that. I have I've replaced these dividers with extra tall dividers, uh, but it still works its way down into the bottom compartment somehow. And I think it like might push this this little uh, sleeve out a little bit and just work its way down in here. And that might not be a problem for everybody, but to me, I just don't want my stuff running loose inside my backpack and. Uh, potential damage to it, you know, if it gets into a pocket it's not supposed to be in, or damage one of my lenses, which I have in here right now. The second thing is, and this is the most important thing, is this weekend I had this backpack sitting up on uh, my little roller table. It's right over here. And I grabbed my backpack, and when I did, I didn't notice that the uh, camera cube was wide open. I had, it wasn't zipped up and I went to sling it on my bag like this and every thing in this backpack camera cube fell out on the cement and as my Sony 24 to 70 2.8 version 2 lens was rolling across the cement floor I remembered that this has happened a couple of times in the past, but I've caught it and didn't think much about it. But this time was different because everything hit the cement. As all my stuff was sitting there laying on the floor, it dawned on me why this was happening. If you have this closed like this, there are really no visual cues that the zippers aren't aren't closed and that's what's causing the problem like most backpacks you can clearly tell if it's zipped up or it's not zipped up but this backpack is different you just can't tell if it's sitting here and that's you know i would say a 75 to 90 90 percent my fault and just a little bit of fault of the backpack but the way it's designed it's happened once before and this time happened and all my stuff on the ground and if you can see what I have in here <clears throat> I have a ZVE-1 with a 20 millimeter 1.8 I have a RX100 Mark 7 Sony 24 to 70 2.8 version 2 and microphones I'll let you add that up if you want to, how much money that is in this backpack. And I just cannot risk my gear that much money and that much gear to this backpack for another day. Not only do you have the problem of not being able to tell if it's closed or open, but the dividers are so thin and you have to buy extra dividers so your stuff just doesn't go everywhere in your backpack. Plus, I was messing around with my backpack earlier. Today, earlier, I set it on a table, and I heard this thump, this thump. And what that was is all my stuff, you know, hitting the top of the table. And then I realized that there's not enough padding in the bottom of this backpack to really protect your gear. And I just, I, I can't recommend it just based on that alone. But this would be a good backpack if you just want to carry like a small amount of camera gear 
and camera gear that, that may won't devastate you <laughs> if it gets uh, broken somehow. But other than that, if you just want to use it for just a regular everyday backpack, it's, it's good because it's light, it looks cool. There's places for all your stuff and laptop, extra storage. It's good for that, but for a hammer backpack, I just, I just can't recommend it. So I wanted to clear that up because I don't want anybody to buy the backpack of my recommendations, get it and find out that it's not what they wanted or that maybe I was telling them a story or something. Oh, and none of my equipment, it seemed to all come out pretty unscathed. My uh, ZVE-1, there's no scratches on there. I have a cage on there and I think it helped protect it. My lens, there's no visible uh, signs of scratches or any, or any damage. Or my 24 to 70 come out good. Uh, my RX100 Mark 7 has a little bit of a mark on it, like right where it hit the concrete. It just adds a little bit of character to your camera, so I'm not too mad about it. Everything seems to be functional, but it could have came out way, way worse. I'm so happy it didn't. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.